morning, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Merit Ecology Sports. So today is a very exciting day for the program. So first and foremost, we are going to have our Super Smash Brothers team going up against the University of Mount Union. They're already getting things set up, so we're going to go over some announcements and uh, reminders and rosters and all that uh, in this best of three 3v3 crew battle. But also later on today, our Fortnite team will be competing in the Nace Star League Traditional Split Championship. They're currently ranked number two in the country, and we're going to see if they can walk away with a national title. But to, right now, our focus is going to be on our Smash team. So let's talk about who is going to be playing this morning. So we have here um, Junior Zach Lane, the weed, playing. We will also have Junior Aether McDonald, Inava playing. And we will also have freshman Ben Baker, Breadman playing. Uh, we also have, of course, our head coach, Derek Games, Games Grub. Hi, Derek. But, all right, yes, they are uh, waiting for the lobby information from Mountain Unit. I believe they are ho Mountain Unit is hosting. Uh, so we're going to go over a couple of announcements uh, yeah. while we are uh, waiting for that. So first, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Merit College Esports. Uh, they have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, uh, microphones, uh, they're great equipment, uh, very durable. We're using, we're using one of their Quad X mics uh, in our uh, broadcasting room right now. So if you want to check out check out HyperX and see the peripherals they have available for you, you can go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. Uh, the QR code is up on your screen for just a few more seconds. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Uh, so they do have their game nights on Tuesdays and Thursdays where they'll have their Nintendo Switch available. Or you can play some, some Smash Brothers yourself or some Mario Kart or some Mario Party. And on Tuesdays, they will be uh, airing our matches. So like this Tuesday, I believe we'll have the return of our Overwatch team and possibly even a Valorant match. So there might be a double header uh, going on this Tuesday. So you can go over to the restaurant on Front Street, get some great deals on pizza and drinks, and also cheer on the Pioneers as they uh, compete in several different competitions. Of course, we want to give a shout out to all of our partners for helping us out, for uh, providing opportunities for students. So not only for HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza, but also by Blue Light. Uh, we're currently working with them to get some blue light glasses uh, for our students. Uh, I also want to thank Elgato for helping us with getting face cams uh, for our students to improve the quality of our broadcasts. We want to thank Incrediware for providing athletic sleeves for our students. Yes, the re athletic recovery sleeves do have benefits in esports. I want to thank Kovacs for providing the aim training software for our FPS students and also MSI for providing uh, monitors for our streaming room and also pricing for upcoming events. And we want to thank all of you for your support. Uh, we did raise some funds during our uh, restaurant fundraiser earlier this week, but we also want to thank you for those who helped during our virtual stadium sellout campaign, which is still going on between now and Monday, October 23rd. So there's still several weeks left uh, in this campaign specifically we still have about just a little over two weeks left uh, as of this morning we have raised nine hundred and seventy dollars so thank you so much for that uh, we're trying to raise funds to get more machines uh, we're trying to get some more uh, desks and chairs and uh, of course you know these things are a little expensive so every little bit uh, can go a long way so if you would like to contribute you can go to givecampus.com slash 4JS65M. The QR code is on your screen. The way it works is they have these virtual tickets where it's $10 a virtual ticket. You can buy any amount you want. Just make sure that you designate your gift towards eSports, and then we would be able to uh, receive the, the benefits from it. Uh, if you're not able to give, that's perfectly fine. Even just sharing the, the link to uh, everyone would be appreciated. We do have this image up on our social media channels, so you can also go to our uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and be able to share the uh, the links there, and just be able to see if we can raise some more funds to, to help out uh, our students, because that's really what it comes down to. We want to provide as many opportunities for our students as possible. Now, of course, we want to thank all of you who have followed on our Twitch channel, and also thank you for your subscriptions. That's also one of our other main sources of revenue. So uh, if you're able to sub subscribe, that's great. Uh, if not, but you have Amazon Prime, there is this thing called Prime Gaming, where, of course, if you connect your Amazon Prime account to a free Twitch account, so you got to create the Twitch account, 
and then you connect it. That gives you Prime Gaming, which gives you all sorts of perks, such as uh, free cosmetic items for certain games. Uh, you could even get free games. Uh, I know I've been able to, to download a, a couple of myself because of it. But it also gives you a free sub that you can use every month to any channel of your choice. In fact, if you have Prime Gaming right now, you might want to check to see, have you, used, have you used your Prime Gaming sub yet? If not, then you could use it towards our program. And what do you get for that? Uh, you do get the custom emotes that you see on your screen so you can express your... Uh, happiness or sorrow or frustration or if you just want to have a nice little lull uh in the chat there are also free emotes for following so if you're not a follower to our channel you do get a couple emotes for free for that uh, but yeah you do get those perks for subscribing uh, to our channel now of course we are always looking for more students for our esports program so uh, we're always actively recruiting for next year so, of course, we do have our varsity titles in Fortnite and Super Smash Brothers, but we also have our League of Legends team that will be playing next Monday. We have our Overwatch 2 team. We have our Rainbow Six team. We have our Rocket League team. And we have our Valorant team. Of course, we have our facility here uh, with several gaming machines, and we're looking to get more gaming machines. We have several coaches for all of our different teams. Of course, we are still looking for a coach for our Smash team. So if that's something that interests you, please feel free, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we do try to provide support for our students because we want to see them do well academically, but also we want to try to provide mental health support for our students. And of course, scholarships are available for high school seniors and college transfers. So for more information, you can go to linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. So that gives you links to all of our social media channels so you can follow us there. Uh, it gives you links for trying out for scholarships you can even set up a discord call to talk with our head coach if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, our program so that's linktr.ee slash marietta esports and yes you did hear, hear correctly that we do offer scholarships to be a part of our esports program that does require a tryout uh, now we do have two tryout dates coming up so uh, we'll have in-person tryouts next saturday october 14th that is our admissions open house. So if you are a high school senior or a college transfer and you're planning to be on campus that Saturday for that open house, while you're here, we could set up a trial so you can come to our facility, meet with our coach, meet with our students, play some games, and hopefully we can give you a scholarship. If you're not going to be on campus, then don't worry. We will have online trials through our Discord server on Sunday, October 15th. Yes, the day after. So all I have to do is just fill out the recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit and then fill out the form to schedule the tryout at bit.ly slash tryouts, and then you would join our Discord server, especially if you're doing online tryouts, bit.ly slash discord. So you see that the QR codes on the screen. So that way you do have to try out if you want to receive the, the scholarship. I know we already have several scheduled for the, the 15th, but if that is something that interests you, go ahead and fill that out. Uh, I've also been told that there are some possible additional funds if you're able to visit the campus and apply uh, by, I think it's December 10th. I don't quote me on the exact date, but I know sometime in December if you do apply um, by then that there might be some additional money that could be added on to your financial aid package. So I would suggest signing up for that tryout sooner than later so you can get those additional perks. And it looks like we are about to get started up. It looks like the weed is going to be starting off uh, playing as Wolf. So in fact, we're going to go ahead and mosey on over here as they are uh, trying to uh, get things uh, set up here. But yeah, the weed is going to be starting off with Wolf, which is interesting because he usually plays a uh, little Mac, but I know he's been kind of diversifying his uh, character pool a little bit. And the thing with Wolf, like Wolf hit, does hit really hard. Maybe not as hard as Little Mac, but he does have a bit more speed, a bit more recovery. So I think they're gonna have a bit more uh, in the uh, more in the kits with Wolf. And everyone is uh, having a little bit of fun with the uh, the different uh, emotes and chat there. But it looks like you're gonna be playing against a Captain Falcon. And it is going to be on Pokemon Stadium 2. So this is the 3v3 crew battles. So we're going to see how the Weep does on Wolf. But we're already seeing that Captain Falcon landing a couple of combos onto Wolf. Trying to use that blaster to deal some damage. 
Maybe spamming a little bit, but it is working, so he's a little bit head on damage. Gonna make it a little bit difficult for Captain to get within close range. So, because Wolf does have that range advantage with his blaster. Shoots in the opposite direction. That gave Cap uh, Falcon a chance to move in. But already leading, planning a couple hits. And we see we trying to use that blaster again, but Falcon's going to be a little patient with it. Falcon does get the uh, up hit, but the weed's already at 97%, but Falcon's at 66. Gets the shield, but dodges the uh, the kick from Wolf. Still using that blaster, but that is making his abilities a bit more predictable. Great kick there uh, by the weed, but gets hit by that Falcon kick. Flies in the air, but gets launched up into the air. Dashes back, but that smash it. Launches him, but he's still fine. But at 150%, one big hit's gonna knock him off the platform. So now, uh, Luis is trying to do as much damage as he can with that blaster. And a great claw attack there uh, by the weed. Dodges that up smash. But does get hit by that falcon kick and will be taken out. He does get a great kick, though, but his invincibility frames have expired, and now Falcon's going to try to put some damage onto Wolf. Dodges that up smash, gets an up kick there. But yeah, using some shields there to dodge. Falcon's at 140%, so if... So we can get one big here. Dodges the kick smash and a great claw attack. Tries to go for the finish off, but but uh, Falcon does dodge it. But an up smash there is going to take out the Wii down to his last stock. Needs to try to get some stocks off of Captain Falcon. But yeah, right now, just trying to put some damage up. But Falcon's putting a lot of damage onto Wolf at 50. Dodges the Falcon Punch. That would have taken him off the, the uh, platform. He's looking for the right opportunity, but Falcon's at 176%. Trying to whittle down the shield as well. Gets the perfect block, but gets kicked away. But a great down smash there will take down one stock from Captain Falcon, but he's at 86%. He's going to have to play very cautiously. One big smash will end this round. He's using that blaster just to try to deal some damage. Stops the Falcon kick, but gets the combo off. Dodges the smash kick. Gets back on the platform. Gets a perfect block on the down kick. We're seeing Wolf already putting some damage up, but he's already still at 111%. He's at least try to get another stock off of the Captain Falcon at the very least. Dodges the Falcon kick and the grab. But a big kick there by Captain Falcon. Dodges the up smash. Launches it, but he's still alive. Gets back onto the platform. Use the shield, but that down kick is going to take him out. Captain Falcon will take the uh, the first round. The Wii was able to take off one stock.
So now I believe it's going to be Inava that will be playing next. Oh no, actually it's going to be Bredman that's playing second, bringing out King DDD. I don't think we had a chance to actually see Bredman uh, compete yet. He's, he has played in a Nace match, but we have not seen him in the GLEC. Okay, they are just getting a couple things updated. Uh, I think the timer for GLEC is supposed to be 7 minutes and not 10, so Mountain Union is just... Fixing that. So no harm, no foul in that first game, but uh, GLEC rules do say that the uh, the timer is supposed to be seven minutes. Okay, so I think right now they're just cocking over uh, what will be the map selection. So Marietta will get to choose. So we'll see if they keep with Pokemon Stadium 2 or if they go with something else. Yeah, they're just talking things over right now. I have no idea what they're saying at this point. Looks like they are going to maybe change the stage. Or they're going to keep it at Pokemon Stadium too. I don't know at this point. Might actually go with Final Destination. Yeah, that is what they're going to go with. So Bredman is ready, so we're waiting for uh, Mount Union to be ready. ready? So alright, it's going to be King DDD against Captain Falcon. So we're going to get a chance to see a little bit of Bredman's play style. We'll have to take off one stock. Alright, they are ready, so here we go. Trying to go for the inhale right away, but Captain Falcon is not buying it. Tries to go for another inhale, does get it off, but just going to spin it back out to try to deal some extra damage. DDD does hit hard, but he's super slow, which could be a problem against a very fast Captain Falcon. Goes for the down smash, doesn't connect. Captain Falcon's going to hit in the air. He's going for another down smash, and that's also one of the uh, flaws here. A great up kick by Falcon, but DDD is still okay. But those down smashes are going to be very predictable. And already at 132%, tries to go for the inhale, but gets launched in the air. Still alive, but he's probably going to go for another down smash and dodges, but gets hit by the, cap the uh, Falcon punch and does lose a stock in the process. Yeah, it's going for the hammer smash, but Falcon's not giving him a chance to land a hit. And goes for another, and gets hit by another Falcon punch. So Bradman's down to his last stock, does get a rocket hammer off, tries to go for the smash, but it is still telegraphed. Goes for the down smash and does connect. But another Falcon Punch. But still in the air, but goes for another... But that is another Falcon Punch and that will take out Bredman.
So now it's going to be up to Inava down to Marietta's last three stocks. So Inava will most likely bring out Min Min. Marietta will talk over about what map they want. I think they're still talking over uh, what the uh, bands and picks will be. It looks like they're going to go back to Pokemon Stadium 2. So it's going to be up to Inava on the Minmin to take out the uh, the Captain Falcon. With the the distance with the punches, that should help. But, I mean, Falcon does like to have that close-range combat, so Minmin's going to have to uh, do everything he can to dodge those. Tries to go for the, the attack, but Falcon will strike first. But a great dragon punch there, but Falcon gets right into close range. Tornado so needs to keep that distance. Falcon does land the, the combo. Goes for a great down kick and another attack. Goes for dragon punch, doesn't connect. Falcon goes for the down smash and now trying to keep Inava in the air. Great up kick there by Anava. It does get launched. Already at 120%. Is able to recover, but a huge kick there by Falcon does take out Anava. for the perfect block already putting some damage back onto Nava at 61% goes for the, the dragon punch falcon kick does dodge it though launches back tries to use that dragon punch again but not able to to knock him out Falcon's trying to keep him in in the air but great kick there tries to go for a possible smash attack dodges it though another dragon punch falcon kick does get countered Nava's now at 103%. And a little bit of edge guarding going on. Great down smash there by Min Min, but tries to take out Falcon. Does, does dodge that dragon punch. Another great down kick by Min Min. Huge dragon punch there, but not enough to knock him off the, uh, the stage. But 
now Anava's down to their last stock. Falcons at 155%. And now I'm just taking so much damage and just not able to land a hit onto Falcon. Just needs one good hit. Does get shielded there. And that would have been a perfect opportunity with the Dragon Punch, but, fall, but does take down one stock for Captain Falcon, but still at 117% has a way to go. Dodges the Falcon kick. Dodges the up kick, tries to go to the down smash, but is able to wait patiently. But another Falcon kick launches Anum in the air, tries to go for the up smash to, or up B to finish her off, but does not. Another Dragon Punch does launch him. Falcon's going to go for the up smash, but a great counter there by Inaba. Uses that yo-yo as well to get some damage out. But that kick by Captain Falcon will finish off Inaba. So Mount Nunu will take that first game 9-2. Uh, to two. Because we're going to try to keep track of stocks taken instead of stocks remaining. Uh, so they are going to change things up a little bit here. So we're waiting to see. Uh, probably go straight into the, the next game. So we're just waiting to see. But uh, looks like actually the weed is going to be leading off again for this second game. I think they're going to be talking over some things real quick. So I'm going to take a quick breather, uh, and we'll be back in just a minute uh, with game two.
right, and welcome back. It looks like we are getting the next game set up here. So we are going to have uh, the Wii leading off as Wolf. And they're going to be going up against me, Gunner. So a very interesting pick from Mount Union. This is allowed. I just hope they are aware of the abilities that me, Gunner has. Wolf already trying to get some damage onto Gunner. Looks like has a bit of a grenade launcher as part of the abilities. But does also have the, the shield kit from uh, Kid Icarus. Actually, that might be the uh, also the shield from uh, Fox as well, but already getting the Wolf to 70, 85%. Using those grenades as a form of edge guarding. Does get the perfect block. Uses that shield to get some damage out, but Wolf's already 129%. Trying to block the uh, grenades as much as possible. Having to shield that combo. But launches uh, Wolf in the air. But gets hit by the grenades and does lose a stock from it. And gets a great attack there to, to knock out the uh, me... Uh, shooter. Wolf trying to get some damage up, but it has to be careful of those reflective shields. Already at 66%, and the me shooter has not taken any damage yet. Wolf's already at 109%. Me sure once again using those shields just to not take any damage. Wolf is at 129%. And that's going to knock Wolf out down to his last stock. Finally lands a couple of hits but gets reflected back. Trying to land some combos, but already at 66%. Me shoot is at uh, 44. Let me see. This me shooter has put up some quite a combination of abilities. I mean, with the the grenade launcher, but also having shields to handle distance, but has also that uh, couple of close range abilities as well. So very well balanced as far as ability goes. Tries to go for the up dash, but just. Just a little shy of the uh, of the platform, so me Gunner uh, will take that first game. So I believe Breadman is going to be next, and this time I think he's going to be going with Karul. Uh, I hope he does. I don't. I think he might have forgotten to change the settings. All right. So they are going to talk over the uh, the next map to see if it stays on small battlefield or if they swap over to Pokemon Stadium Two. Because that seems to be the the popular one so far.
All right, here we go. So he got her needs to drop a, a stock. Almost took damage there, but he finally remembered to, to drop a stock. But but now they are ready. It's a great punch in. And using that cannon already to his advantage, kind of has a similar kit to uh, DDD, but maybe not as uh, slow and predictable. But does he able to land the hit with the cannonball? Tries to go for the forward smash, but he's got to dodge that uh, combo there from the uh, goner. Great kick there by Karul. But does reflect the cannonball back. That is one thing that's going to make Karul just a little bit tricky here is the fact that those cannonballs are very slow. But is able to shield that combo. Great throw with the crown. And relaunches the, the cannonball. The crew's already 154%. Not out just yet, but we do see he's flashing red. But that will take him out. Cruel taking quite a bit of damage there, but the knee gunner is already at 122%. So if Redman can get a big hit, nice counter there with the shield, but B gunner is able to get back onto the platform and keeps reflecting those cannonballs. But we are seeing Karul's already at 133%. And Karul gets launched off down to his last stock. Looks like we're seeing some PK fire spam coming out from me gunner. Throws out the crown, does dodge it, and the cannonball. Reflects it, but Krul does get hit back with it. Goes for the down smash, but does get dodged. The cruel's already 129%, out at 146. One big hit's going to take him out. Let's see if he can try to get, but is not going to be able to take him out. And Me Gunner does not drop a stock in that matchup. So it's going to be up to Inava to try to take out this Me Gunner. Tainaba will bring out the Min Min. So we'll see if they change the the map here. Looks like Inava is ready, and so is uh, Mount Union. Three, two, one, go! 
does take out the the stock. So let's see what uh, Ainava can do here. But already taking a lot of damage from me, Gunner, trying to use the uh, the arms as a as distance, which actually is quite advantageous for Ainava because I don't know if those necessarily can be shielded and reflected because it's not a projectile. Another trying to do some damage, but has to dodge those grenades that keep coming out. And that is proven to be difficult for Inaba. And those grenades can also be used as edge guarding. Shields the attack. But still, Inaba just getting hit by a barrage of attacks. Already at 146%. Attack in, tries to go for the yo-yo, doesn't get great dragon punch, but gets hit by another grenade. And does get launched out by me, Gunner. So down to two stocks remaining for the team. Goes to the down smash, doesn't connect, throws the grab, launches in the air, goes to the dragon punch, and does take out a stock. So now me gunner's down to one stock remaining. We'll see if Inava can take him out. Goes with the yo-yo and the combo. Dragon Punch does not connect. But already at 63%. Yo-yo connects, Dragon Punch does not. Has to keep dodging those grenades because it deals a massive amount of damage already at 101%. And those grenades are just kind of serving as edge guarding for Anava, but... He's able to get back on the platform, goes for the yo-yo, goes for the wombo combo. Dragon Punch does not connect. Hits with the yo-yo again. Nice Dragon Punch. Another great hit, trying to keep that distance. Yo-yo in the air, goes for the up smash, launches in the air. Yo-yo does not connect, goes for that charge smash, has to dodge another grenade. Hits with another yo-yo. He gunners at 129%. Tries to go for the finisher, doesn't connect, still launches in the air. Dodges the Dragon Punch once again, trying to wait for the yo-yo. Comes back onto the platform. And Mimin down to the last stock, 139%. Goes for that down smash and does get the finisher. So with Bimin down to their last stock, is able to take out that meat gunner. So now they'll talk over to see, well actually uh, Mountain Union will talk over to see what uh, map they uh, want to play. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2 again. And there's a pause. Not sure what happened there. Must have been just a missed input. But there's still going to be a challenge for Mimin. Only one stalker Mimin has to take out six to try to stay alive in this series.
on you and still talking things over. And we're gonna see a Lucina come in. So I mean, we'll have to drop two stocks, so it's one versus three with this Lucina matchup. Now, Lucina being a sword fighter just means that uh, Bimin's going to have to try to keep distance. Tries to go for the Yoda, doesn't connect, gets the Dragon Punch. Has to go for the smash attack, doesn't connect. Great combo there with the Dragon Punch, goes for another one, doesn't quite connect. Trying to keep their distance, but Lucina getting that smash attack in. And it's just not getting the up B, and that is going to be it. So Mount Union will take the the game nine to three. So we did see a little bit of improvement there, taking down one of Mount Union's players, but it was just not enough. Um, I don't know if it was just a missed input or if it was just too far away to recover. Uh, but that is going to be our smash match uh, for today. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take down the stream because our next game is until 3 o'clock. But as a reminder, this afternoon, our Fortnite team will be competing for the NACE, uh, NACE Championship. So please be sure to, to come back for that. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Merida College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts again to all of our uh, supporters, the HyperX, uh, Over the Moon Pizza, Buy Blue Light, uh, Elgato, Incrediware, uh, MSI, uh, Kovax. So thank you all for your support. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions. And thank you for your gifts. We hope to see you later this afternoon.